Hey guys, uh, Kevin here. Uh, I am here to do a review of at least some items in the Arteric System A. Uh, this is a quick review of the, I think this is called the Paltz jacket, the P-A-L-T-Z jacket in the terrarium colorway, uh, as well as the Dune jacket in the chalk colorway. Ooh. So this just released, uh, I believe earlier this month, uh, it is August by the way, um, earlier this month, and uh, they launched at a bunch of Arteric stores as well as Arteric partners. And just a quick disclaimer, uh, these are my thoughts. Uh, I, well, I guess for a frame of reference, I live in Southern California, so my mileage may vary from yours. So take my review with a grain of salt. So before we delve into the jackets themselves, uh, let's talk about the entire like System A line, because this is a brand new line by the head of Valence. So System A was built to essentially be the bridge in between almost the casual and the outdoors person, where it's kind of like, Arteryx, as of late, with very well-timed collaborations, as well as kind of a few key people being very into like, I don't know, like hiking gear, as of the resurgence of like all of that stuff with like, you know, like ACG, etc. cetera. Um, it is supposed to be the bridge between, I guess, street conscious people and those that really enjoy the outdoors, etc. So the head of Valence, I believe his name is Taka Kasuga. Uh, he has been the head of Valence for quite a few years now, and he has been doing a fantastic job. I believe um, he is spearheading Valence as well as like System A. So that's sort of where you kind of see the throughput and like the simplistic design of it. So Kasuga, prior to Valence, he was a part of, I believe, Junya Watanabe's uh, Atelier, as well as he was uh, a product line manager at Cole Han uh, back in the early 2010s. And then he joined Arteryx and then got more involved with that and then became uh, the head of Valence. And then during his tenure at Junior Watanabe, um, he learned that people often want to dress in a very utilitarian way, in a very, I guess, technical way where a lot of people were gravitating towards more workwear as well as more utility items. Uh, I believe around that time Junior Watanabe was uh, collaborating with I think North Face as well as their Levi's collaboration so it was definitely leaning more towards that. Uh, is this useful? Do I get utility out of it? So his ultimate goal and his philosophy through a lot of his products is performance equals comfort. So like once you have that comfort aspect of it, that in itself is performance because instead of being uncomfortable in your clothes, you can be more comfortable so you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. Thus, you gain more performance in doing the things that you actually want to do. So Kasuga, in a interview with Hypebeast, he said that the clothes should really feel like second skin and that the clothes should really move with you. Um, it should, when you, when you lift your arm, it should go with your arm. If you lift your leg, it should go with your leg. So I think that dynamic pattern cutting has been very prevalent, uh, both in uh, a lot of, I guess, more traditional brands now, uh, but back then, you know, like Valence and Acronym were really the only two people to do a lot of that like dynamic, like pattern making. And I guess like Barton to a lesser extent. So the name system A is actually kind of interesting. That was actually originally what Valence uh, was called, I guess, internally. Uh, they were still thinking about a bunch of names about it. I think in the 10 year like retrospective of Valence, uh, Kasuga was talking with the head of acronym, like Errolson Hugh, about where the name like System A even came from. And then it was from old, I guess, uh, files that they were digging into from the previous head of Arteryx. And a lot of them referenced like System A, which like System A in itself, that name is derived from, I believe, like Sistema or like Sistema. 
uh, which is a like Russian martial arts that was used by like the KGB and that was I guess referenced in I believe in one of like Gibson's books I believe it was Spook County um, yeah William Gibson he was a very prolific uh, like writer you guys should definitely check him out but he has been a big supporter of acronym as well as he's been very ingrained in a lot of this like like I don't know what to call it but like I don't know if like dystopian fashion is really it but like he's like legendary but the idea of of like Sistema is that you're focusing really on on disarming the opponent but doing it in a very zen like in a very focused manner well, kind of in a way where it's kind of like Yudo where you are almost disarming and then turning the opponent's uh, aggression towards you into an attack towards them in a very zen-like manner, which I think is kind of poetic in a way, because I think the same zen-like way is kind of the throughput between the street conscious and the more, I guess, nature-focused or very hiking-focused products. Uh, so that's sort of what I think like System A really is. It like is that in between. This retail for $350, this I believe $450 US dollars. And quick tech specs of the jacket. The Dune jacket is uh, made out of the Gore-Tex C-Knit, which I've heard from a lot of people that it is sort of like a cheaper, uh, more, uh, I guess like easily, I guess damaged material uh, from what I heard, but I don't think necessarily that's, uh, exactly the case at least i mean i've only had this jacket for a few weeks but i've also heard that this is more breathable than the other traditional cortex or cortex pro uh, products so i think there is some breathability aspect of it because you aren't really facing at least this jacket isn't really meant to be facing like the harshest winters the harshest rains and the harshest conditions this is definitely more for the city uh traveler so quick details about the jacket on the front it has two large side pockets as well as one side zipper uh, on the left i guess bicep as well as there's two kind of bungee cords where you're able to kind of uh, shorten uh, the length of the jacket as well as make the bottom waist kind of a bit tighter so you can kind of play with the fit around there uh, as well as there is this hood which is a packable hood um, Quite nice, uh, in my opinion. I really love the color of this one, but the front big pocket down the middle is a Vizlon YKK, uh, and the other are just like a Vizlon, or not a Vizlon, it's just a YKK zipper. Like nothing too fancy. And on the interior of the Dune jacket is actually one small uh, side pocket. And other than that, it's just the normal tape seams. It has like a coat hanger uh, right over here. But outside of that, it's a fairly traditional Arteryx jacket. And then for the Pouts jacket, this is made out of, I forgot what it was called. The Pouts jacket is made out of a lightweight Fortis 1.0 double weave, which is both water resistant as well as wind resistant. So the main difference between the Pulse jacket and the Dune jacket, the Dune jacket, the material is waterproof and wind resistant. This is water resistant and wind resistant. So that's sort of a key difference. As well as the Pulse jacket is definitely not necessarily for rain. I think it's more for like, maybe even like light drizzles or uh, I guess wind. So this is a lighter jacket. This is the soft shell. Uh, so the details, two chest pockets, one YKK center zip pocket, two side uh, pockets, and there are no interior pockets for the Pouts jacket. Um, fairly simple cut of it, uh, I will have to say. Uh, both jackets feature this sort of um, patch on the side. This is not 3M, uh, so it's just like a normal patch. I'm assuming you're just supposed to put things on it, not necessarily sure what. Uh, as well as this one also has those bungee cords, but this one's an interior one, while the Dune Jacket has an exterior one. Um, another key difference, in my opinion, is that this isn't a tape seam jacket. This is stitched, so that's why it's more of that water resistant rather than waterproof. 
And this, I think, would be a much better summertime jacket just because it's a lot more breathable. Uh, same idea where this one is definitely, you can play with the fit of it given uh, the drawstrings at the bottom. You can kind of like play with the waist uh, size, but outside of that, fairly simple. Um, I got the Pouts jacket in a small and the Dune jacket in a medium. I was just thinking during the winter time, I would definitely be layering with the Dune jacket and for fall and even to a lesser extent right now in August, uh, I can use the can use the Pouts jacket to kind of go on morning runs as well as hike in the morning as well, as well as just even go to my office job. So I have put light use, in my opinion, light use to both of these jackets. Um, and my personal opinion, just straight out the gate, I think for my use case, the Pouts jacket is definitely the jacket that I see myself using more just because of the fact that I am in Southern California. Um, I do wish, well, not really, but like, I would like to have more use case of this because I personally think the color of the chalk is like like phenomenal it's like this like not eggshell white but it has like a drop of like green in there and i think it just looks so sick i think it would have been amazing if they had a pelts jacket uh, with the chalk color that would probably be like my favorite jacket of all time um but i do like the terrarium of it the collection did come out with one pair of shorts one uh, long cargo pant itself, uh, one long sleeve, one short sleeve, as well as a packable windbreaker. Uh, like those items, I felt like the t-shirts, um, I didn't really need more t-shirts. Uh, the pants, I already have a bunch of pants, so I don't really need any of that. Uh, the only one I was debating on was the packable windbreaker, but I wasn't a big fan of the translucency of the windbreaker, so I ended up just kind of passing on it. Uh, as well as I don't see myself reaching for the windbreaker versus this one. I would much rather reach for this one rather than the windbreaker. So that was like my methodology of like picking what I should pick up. So yeah, with the pouts jacket, because the terranium colorway is such a loud colorway, I want to choose to pair it with some more muted colors. So I would definitely wear more olive. I think olive would work very well in terms of pants as well as maybe just a pair of boots or just a simple pair of black sneakers, uh, that would make this a very killer fit. With the pouts, or with the, excuse me, the dune jacket, I think the dune jacket, just wearing it with black would make it look super, uh, almost like military-esque. I really, really do like it. My small complaint, although it is kind of something that is more of my use case, but I wish that there was a little bit of padding in terms of like the neck area because I do feel like the structure of the neck is a little bit weird, uh, especially when you do put it on. Um, it feels like, I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel very nice, in my opinion. It doesn't feel very nice for me, but I do like that both uh, cuts and both types of jackets do have that dynamic pattern making, not too like a giant extent but especially the underarms i'm able to like move it around very freely and i really do appreciate that i also do appreciate that both jackets have uh the ability to kind of um i guess strap down with velcro on the wrist i think that can give it uh, a lot more different i guess use cases that you can kind of like wear it looking more slim or you can have it more loose and have it more of like an oversized fit uh, so I guess like same goes for the kind of like zip cords. Uh, another thing that I really do appreciate is the fact that this wasn't like terribly, terribly hard to get. Uh, I know they did still sell out, but I think if you were there on the release day, around the release time, you were able to get whatever you wanted. So I'm, gr I'm glad um, that they produced enough and they saw the demand and still some items might still be in stock in the Arteryx website as well as maybe third party places but I am looking forward to what system A has in store for the future because uh, I would like to ideally see um, more colors of the pelts jacket I really really like the pelts jacket uh, I would also like to see maybe some like their take on like a bomber jacket I think that would be really sick as well I do like them bringing back a few of the 
uh, older items. I think the Quiver bag uh, hasn't been released in a really long time as well. I think they had a chalk bag that a lot of enthusiasts really liked, but it wasn't retroed up until now. So I think that was like a really nice, uh, they saw the market for it because I know some people were paying like, like, I don't know, like crazy eBay amounts. And then um, they retroed it and made everybody happy. So I do like the idea and the methodology of it. I would like to see, although I'm not a huge fan of like super oversized pants, I would like to see some like slimmer down uh, like silhouettes. I know Valence does a few, but just personally, I think the slimmer silhouette, maybe, I don't know, like I just personally enjoy it more than the more oversized. I do understand that it probably involves more cutting and pattern making in order to get the fit that you want, but I do think it's it's probably the main reason I love the P10 so much is just because the knee area is just so well like articulated that it's just so easy to move in. So yeah, that was uh, my use case of the System A jackets. What do you guys think about the collection? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not really fancy it all that much? I personally thought it was a very cool collection. Um, I do think that maybe in the future there will be more product categories, so I think that would be really nice. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace!